How is it going guys? Thanks a lot for joining me for another beer review. Today I'm going to be looking at another beer from Nogne U out in uh, Grimstad, Norway. Today's beer is going to be their Quadruple. It's a pretty cool beer, uh, aged uh, 20 months I believe in red wine barrels, coming in at 15.5% alcohol by volume. So one of the strongest beers I've had from uh, Nogna U. I love their uh, big, uh, strong, dessert-like beer, so super excited to get this one cracked, poured, see how it is. Alright, the appearance on Nogna U's Quadruple uh, pours a cap of an off-white, slightly tan kind of head, um, just a cap of film left. Um, there was a little bit more, but faded pretty quick. Some uh, alcohol legs on the glass there, a uh, beautiful color to it, almost uh, black, verging on black. It's uh, like a really deep chestnut kind of brown. Yeah, let's get an aroma. That is insane. Well, what this reminds me of is uh, barley wine. Yeah, it reminds me of like uh, the brewery's anniversary old ales, the uh, Solera blended ones, you know. It's just got this huge Werther's Original rich toffee, uh, some like praline New York cheesecake kind of vibes going on. Yeah, hints of like a chocolate. Definitely getting the red wine for sure. It's like uh, the brewery's uh, anniversary ales if you were to age them in red wine barrels instead of bourbon, you know. Yeah, that smells absolutely frickin' phenomenal. <sighs> Can't wait to try it out. <laughs> Cheers. I'm, I'm going to need a second to wrap my mind around this one. Uh, holy crap. Yeah, it's got, like, everything going on, you know. You definitely get the red wine barrels. It's got a slight char, big, dark fruitiness, a rich, fruity kind of thing going on. <laughs> definitely a nice oakiness. Almost like a, uh, wow, the burp <laughs> tastes like freaking nuttiness. Just, like, tons of, uh, yeah, like, praline, some, uh, almonds, stuff like that. Uh hazelnut stuff like that going on you know that is phenomenal wow hints of chocolate coffee that kind of thing this uh, really soothing uh, chocolatey uh, like not a bitter coffee at all like a mocha kind of thing going on in the background there Beautiful stickiness, beautiful mouthfeel. It's heavy, it's heavy as fuck. Just amazing, amazing mouthfeel to this. Big stickiness. Mm. This is, this isn't a quadruple, this isn't a stout, nothing like that. It's a on a league of its own. This is something completely different. It almost does remind me of like a barley wine, like a barrel-aged barley wine, but with more... Uh, robust kind of feel to it, you know, more dark fruit as well. Speaking of, just tons of like uh, raisin, just tons and tons of like juicy raisin kind of flavors, some nice uh, prune, plum, dates, figs, all those beautiful dark fruit kind of things going on. I'm getting hints of like, I want to say a uh, uh, a kai berry or however you pronounce that. I believe it's a kai or a key. Something like that. But, um, yeah, that is phenomenal. It, it reminds me of, like, a American stout mix with, like, a English barley wine with a Belgian quadruple. Just blend that together, age it in red wine barrels. I'm starting to get this beautiful tart, uh, vinous kind of thing going on. Reminds me of dark cherries. I guess of, like, a dark uh, grapes, stuff like that, really. But, um, yeah, fantastic stuff. Uh, Definitely in like a low A plus kind of beer for me. Fantastic. I'm gonna go 96 on this one, something like that. Yeah, if that sounds good to you, definitely pick up the spear. Um, 
about to go watch Bill Burr's new special, by the way. Check that shit out. One of my favorite comedians. The special just aired uh, last night, and uh, can't wait to try that out. Perfect beer to just sit back, relax, have a one-and-done kind of night, you know. So, um, yeah, looking forward to that. Let me know what y'all think of Nogna Ooze Quadruple. Any of their other beers. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time. Cheers.